And some of the things you're going to do towards the end is put in your titles and transitions. Now we're not going to go over subtitles in this session because that's going to require a session all unto itself. So let's dive right in, but before we do, let's review how far we've gotten. Now on that list of seven parts of your workflow, we're, we're on number six now, which is building your timeline with your imported media. And you're going to spend a whole lot of time in this section, obviously, because it takes a long time to make a movie uh, because you're going to be continually building it and rearranging it so that it flows well and makes the most sense. Now let's review up here for a second. We have our uh, vents. I'm going to click this up here. We haven't done that before, but it gives you all of our vents. It's got the audio, which is actually nothing in there but audio, so there's no, nothing to display. Our video event and our lake stills. And events are, again, nothing but containers for your media and for organizing your media. We also have projects, and we only have one. A project is your timeline, and here it is, fun at the lake, fun at the lake. We only have one open at this point. Uh, we're going to get another one shortly, but not in this session. And I'm going to show you how flexible, the flexibility of iMovie, which is, its, I think, its strongest point, and the ease of use, which goes hand in hand with flexibility. If we click on our library here, uh, we have all, everything in there. We have our project and, and we have our media, right? Okay, so that, there's that. So let's put a title in here. First of all, let's go back up and see that our lake video is associated with our project. I'm just going to click on that just, just for, uh, I don't know, just keep things a little more <laughs> clear if I can. And here are all of these. There are titles and transitions that are in your content library built into the application itself. So let's look at the titles first and see how very simple this is. It brought up all of these wonderful titles which you can mouse over and it will give you an example of what, what, you, what you're dealing with here. Um, most of these have animation and that's great. Um, uh, you just have to be aware of that. Uh, one of the, I guess, limitations of iMovie is that you're not going to have a whole lot of control over them as far as where they appear in your in your uh, canvas or, or actually in the frame. So let's just take one here. Um, how about this uh, title text here? So uh, you could just double click it and it would go down uh, wherever the playhead is. Uh, let's, let's do Command-Z and do that again. So if I put the playhead over here and did the title there it would go. Um, but you could literally take this uh, title uh, well here it wants you to, to do something up here. It wants you to Put something in there so we'll just say uh, uh, just because I can't think of anything else to say at this moment and I'm going to accept that change by either just clicking this blue checkbox or uh, just just going down here somewhere and now we have it um, and you can see it expands and it goes across there well that's wonderful it's four seconds and you can draw that out just like any other clip uh, you can put it in the middle if you want, and if you played through that, I'm pressing the space bar, then it would be on black, and uh, that, that's pretty dramatic, and you can notice that it fades in and out, and that's something you have no control over. Now, you do have control over the font, uh, you know, um, whatever, whatever kind of font you want to use, and I would strongly recommend that you use a, kind of a thick, thick font, maybe not this thick, but it's really difficult to read letters that have thin parts to them so be very, very be, be aware of that and uh, you can you know go for the choose a size that's pretty small <laughs> uh, something like that there we go and uh, like I say you can either click that uh, or um, just click down here and you can drag certainly it's it's very very versatile and flexible now here's one thing that's a drawback of iMovie is uh, you can't actually move this around. You can't, you couldn't just drag this down anywhere in the frame. But you could in some of these, maybe this is one, we'll find out. See, I put the uh, cursor right at the beginning of that. And what I'm going to do is see if I can move this down in the frame. And I'm just going to press return and it won't. This is one that won't do that. 
some of them will. Uh, let's see, uh, I, uh, maybe the center title, uh, and which I have just uh, actually <laughs> changed apparently by highlighting and clicking. Let's see if that works. Uh, oh, how about that? So we just learned something new together. Uh, if you highlight it and double click it, it's going to replace that other uh, type style title with, with whatever you're doing. So let's see if this one will do it. And this is the thing I'm trying to illustrate here. So I'm up here and I want to move this these uh, down. I don't want it dead center. And nope, that one won't do it either. How about this one? Um, so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to highlight that, double click this. And uh, let's see if this one will, will do that. I'm just pressing return. Oh, look, this one will. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So now we've got it down lower. Uh, and I don't think we can get it any higher. I'm going to just delete that line and see what happens. No, that's it. So you can, you can take that one lower. Uh, and that might, and, and also, you know, use a space bar to maybe get it over here and then uh, return, you know, so, so, you know, you can, you can move it around in there and take a, take a look at this too. This has an outline, which is up here. You may not want that. Uh, you know, you can make it bold or, or not and italics. And, and that, that gives you, and of course, uh, uh, a line left and maybe a line right or, or center, you know, however you. So it, it does give you some measure control. So I'm going to accept that real quick up here. Here's another thing to keep in mind about iMovie. And we're going to, I'm just going to drag this title down here. And you can't stack titles, right? So that's another uh, limitation of iMovie. Of course, all of those limitations don't exist. And it's Big Brother Final Cut Pro. But you could put this down in the middle. And now you can overlap the title. So, so that's something to keep in mind. I'm going to do Command Z and go backward. Okay, so that's basically it for titling. Um, let's put in some transitions. Let's put in some transitions. These are fun. These are fun. <laughs> this is also built into your content library. And here they are over here. Uh, you got a whole bunch, and I recommend just go ahead and get them out of your system and you know put these great transitions in here. They're fun. Uh, you got to be careful about transitions that you know uh, become a transition sampler. <laughs> Uh, but go ahead and play with these. They're fun. That's a nice one. Uh, if you double click that transition, you can change the duration. So let's ch change this to like three seconds uh, and make and see what see what that does. Uh, it a real really slow one. So there you go for that. And of course, anything on here, highlight, delete to to get rid of it. Mostly, what you're going to use are these two: cross dissolve and a blur and fade to black or fade to white. Fade to black generally it means it's the end or coming up or it's intros and outros, whereas fade to white could be something in the middle. Uh, let's see what that does. Uh, it doesn't indicate that it's the end of things. It just, it's just it's pa another passage of time. And general transitions indicate trans uh, passage of time. So you don't want to use those a whole lot unless that's what you're trying to say. Time has passed from this scene to the next. So let's do a cross dissolve, which is pretty much the one you're going to be using all the time. And take a look and see how, how nice that is. There you go. You have to be aware if there's audio down here uh, that you might have a little problem with the audio being crossed over and catching parts over here, for instance. Uh, that you don't want. So you'll have to adjust the audio and how. Well, remember how we did that down here. Uh, you can take your points and just drag the, the end. These don't have audio, but say say this one. Uh, and I, I want to just I say, okay, there's going to be um, some audio at the end there. I don't want to hear, so I'm going to drag that down. So this this would literally be, uh, we can't hear it now, but uh, this, this would be the end of that audio. So that's one way you could fix that. And you're going to have that happen. So so that's important to, to remember. Okay, so there's our transitions. Uh, go ahead and play with those. Uh, fade to black at the end. Watch this. Uh, we'll put this down here. And this is how you would uh, adjust the opacity of your video on your primary storyline. Here we're going to play that through. And you can do that at the beginning too. Sorry, you could fade that up. And we're going to play that. And it fades up. There we go. And back here it fades down. All right, so those are uh, kind of a brief whirlwind tour of tiles and transitions. 
And next, we're going to take a look uh, at our subtitles. And that is the whole session.